Hey everyone, Sophia here from my great challenge, Pardon the Appearance. It's the 4th of July. Happy 4th. You're probably going to see that later on. Today I am doing a project in the house. It's long overdue. You guys have mentioned it before and I've said, yeah, 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 I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. But guess what? Today's the day. It's a little bit after 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I have the rest of the day to finish this. I am redoing the back door. So I'm going to show you what Scott and I have in mind. The color of the door itself is going to change. Change, but the most important is restoring the frame because it is falling apart and just plain unsightly. So when you come into my house from the back, and this is the back door, and it's uh, it's pretty sorry looking, you guys. <laughs> it's really really bad. So the whole frame has to be uh, sanded down and repainted. So that's this part right here. I'm going to send that today. Um, I don't know if we're going to be able to paint the whole thing today, or at least the door. Probably not. But this is the back door. So what we have in mind is to redo the frame in white. Scott and I have picked a color we agreed on, which is red for the back door, and there's the the frame here where the uh, glass is we might keep that in white or do it red we're not sure we're gonna think about it um, eventually the house itself is going to be recited um, a shade of dark blue but that's not happening now it's probably gonna be sometimes next spring so what I have for tools to do this is blocks of um, sanding paper and then I have one of those little metallic brushes and I'm gonna use this first um, to remove the big big pieces that are flicking off um, if you can see that right so that's what I'm gonna do now there's a lot of that on top here because this door does not have an awning so as a result it is always exposed to the weather and as a result the wood gets damaged now it wasn't down when we bought the house, but it really, really got damaged over the years. Um, it's part of those things that you basically have to constantly maintain. And some of the wood here is getting damaged too, so I have some um, special wood, um, what do you call it, paste to put on just to seal it a little bit. Technically, I should have the whole thing removed. All right, so let me put the camera on the tripod. I'm going to start sending this. I'm going to start again with the brush to remove the big chunks, and then I'll just go ahead and send it, and we'll be ready to put a coat of primer and then paint it in white let me just start over here again I have this um, metal brush and all I want to do is just remove the big chunks because otherwise I'm gonna be sanding and sanding and sanding so just want to get rid of those and you see this part here it's uh, kind of like shabby looking right now I'm just restoring and sprucing it up i am not redoing the whole frame um eventually will be done but right now i just don't want to spend another winter looking at this door which is really falling apart all right so i think i got pretty much all of the big chunks um, out of the way. I'm gonna go ahead and use the sanding block and finishing off and then this one is a rough one and then the other one that I have is a little bit more fine. So what I'm gonna do is do the rough part first and then really smooth it out with the fine part of it. Um, that would allow me to have a minimal amount of you know, bumps and whatnot when I put on the new coat of primer. try to smooth one now. Yes, nice. Okay. It's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be better than what I have now. That's for sure. Okay, so that's all sanded out and nice and s smooth. So what I'm going to do is, you see how there's a little gap here? I'm going to cork the entire frame all the way down to the bottom and while that's drying I'm looking at my door here you see this this is the residue from some kind of a seal that we put up years ago to stop a draft and it kind of fell off but I have the leftover glue on it and over the years it got really really dirty so I need to sand that as well and I have some steel wool here 
Then I'm going to use to go over this surface so that the paint adheres on it a little bit more because this is metal and even though I got the uh, exterior paint that has the primer in it, I want to make sure that this doesn't start peeling off a year or two from now. So I did all the caulking throughout the whole frame and I like this caulk because it's pink and then it's white when it's dry so it lets me know when the job is done. So what I'm going to do now is work on this stain here, this whole thing. I'm just going to see if I can just sand it off and then with the wool go over the entire door um, just to give it again a rough surface so that the paint adheres a little bit more on it. Um, unfortunately for me, this strip went all the way up so I have to do the entire door with this um, sanding paper. So let's see if it works. Otherwise I'm going to have to use the Gooby Gone. Uh, let me see if I can scrape it off first. All right, that works. It's coming off, not fully. Now, let me see if I use my little metal brush, it finishes it off. Yep, okay, so I don't need to sand it. All right, so it's gone, but I will have to just slightly use the um, steel wool just to buff it up a little bit and make sure that the paint stays here. Now I'm only doing the front of the door and we're not doing the side or the back. So once I scraped off all of the uh, glue that was left over, I'm just using my sanding block and I'm going over like this and passing my finger over it to make sure that there's no more glue residue. It's actually doing a pretty good job um, at removing whatever is left over. The scraping just basically took out most of it but I still want to have it um, nice and smooth. And while I'm at it, I'm just going over the door and sanding it as well. Because remember, this is being painted. So it's getting rid of dirt and whatnot, just to give me a nice smooth surface. Otherwise, any little speck that's still on the door, when I'm ready to paint, it's just going to be exaggerated. When it's white, you don't really see it, but when you start doing colors, you really do see every single little defect that's on the door, the nicks, the uh, uh, dance, whatever is there, you're going to see it. It's going to be um, definitely emphasized. So I want to make sure the door is as smooth as possible. Now, I should be removing the door and doing it on the flat surface. rust is probably the best bet for a door like this because it's metal. Um, I'm just doing it this way because we're only doing the front of it and then eventually this door is going to be replaced anyway when we uh, side the house we're gonna have the reframing and a different door installed so this is basically just a temporary fix just to spruce up the back entrance a little bit um, make it look a little bit more inviting and not as much as um, you know two college students still camping in their home and that's done it's all gone you see that all right Whew. and i did sand the door very lightly so i'm ready to start painting edward went to get the shop vac so i can get rid of all of this dust before we start tracking it all over the house uh, this is not dry yet so i'm gonna have to wait for this to dry i'm gonna put a coat of primer first and then paint that in white. Eventually this will be changed as well. This one here for some reason doesn't work. I think there's a wrong connection. So the whole thing's gotta be pulled out and then I'll try to get a nice light for the back door. Um, yeah, it's still pink, so I have to wait. Okay, see you in a bit. Um, just gonna take some time to wait for it to dry and then I'll start painting. Okay, change of mind. I took the door down. <laughs> I want to sand it really, really well because I really don't want the paint to start peeling off. So we got uh, steel wool and I got um, the block here. See how white it is right now? And I'm in the shade. So what I'm doing is I'm removing some of the old paint. That's why you see the white. So I got to make sure I wash it extensively before I start painting it. So now um, let's see where we at. Hello, Electra. I gotta uh, vacuum the whole thing. Um, yeah, I still see a little bit of uh, pink, so 
Uh, I'll wait another 15 minutes and then I'll go ahead and paint the frame. All right, I'm ready to paint the frame. I'm using the Kills Premium Primer. This is for wood. It's uh, stain resistant, but it's really to protect the wood. And then I'll put two coats of glossy exterior white paint. Um, the regular, I always use bare, you know me. Um, but in the back over there, you can probably hear the scratching. I have Edward sending the rest of the door. So let me go ahead and start painting this with the primer, let it dry, and then I'll go ahead and paint the whole frame. Right, so I have two coats of primer on the frame right now and it really looks much better and I'm gonna wait for a good 20 minutes for it to dry and then I'll go ahead and start painting with the regular enamel um, semi-gloss that I got but in the meantime I'm gonna start painting the door. So I don't know if you're gonna be able to see the color um, because we are in the shade but this is a red that has um, a little bit of purple in it. This is a bare paint that is called Spiced Wine. It's a red that has a tiny hint of purple in it. So it's not a bright fire engine red. It's nothing like the red I have in my um, dining room. So it's going to be a little bit more muted. Um, and this is a semi-gloss which I prefer, so we'll see. Uh, it might require, because it's uh, red, it might require more than two coats. coat on the door that's done while Scott is doing the first coat of the regular paint on the door uh, frame so yeah we on time um, this is drying really really fast I'm hoping you can really see the color um, it's darker when it's um, drying I think it's gonna look really really good obviously it's gonna need more than one coat because if you look at it with um, let me see if I can zoom in one coat only you can still see the white underneath it, so it's going to be definitely darker once I have two coats. So the frame around the door has had two coats of primer and two coats of paint and that's done. And the door here is done as well. So what we did, again this is Spiced Wine by Bear in Satin Finish, but I painted um, the frame in white and I think you saw me do that, so I think Scott was filming that for a second. So I'm still having it dry right now. It's pretty much dry, um, but I just want it to cure a little bit more. I put the food stop, whatever you call it, back on. So yeah, the door is painted. So we're going to wait 20 minutes for it to completely cure, and then we're going to hang it back in the back, and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, here's the big reveal. The door is in, but I didn't close it all the way, just in case it's still tacky. But here is the back door in red. I still have a big mess here. 
Um, the one thing we need to do, and it's probably going to happen soon, is we do the weather stripping here. You see how it's all damaged? That's from Vespa. She used to scratch this. So we just got to remove it and replace it because some of it got painted on, but that's all right. We just got to uh, get a white one. But otherwise, here we go. We have a brand new, almost brand new looking back door and I really, really like it. So next week, um, I'm going to clean all this up here probably put a nice mat and then I have to build a, a planter uh, with some shade plants because remember this is shade probably hostas whatever or something that stays all year long but here's a little bit of sunshine so you can see it a little bit better so that's it that was my project for today it took about uh, six hours and we got lucky because the weather was very dry and hot so the door dried really really fast and just in case you're wondering this was three coats and again, this is a bear spiced wine. So if you ask me, I believe that this is a major improvement on the house. It looks really, really good. Nice, clean, crisp. Hopefully it's going to stay like this. I'm hoping the dogs don't scratch it and get the paint off. If they do, then I'll have to uh, sand it, paint again, and probably put a coat of varnish. But I'm going to put the curtain back on because the purpose here was to stop, you know, anybody, if there is anybody coming in, to see what's going on in the back. But yeah, so I'm pretty happy with this. This was a good project to do on the 4th of July. I'm loving it. Give me a big thumbs up if you like this video. I will see you probably next week or in two weeks with the planter and other projects probably on the outside and other things um, to do and other things I have to do inside the house because it's summer and for me that means DIY stuff. So thanks for watching you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye! Mm -hmm.